Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do another daily vibe for the 10th, just because I've, I don't know, I just feel like I need to. So I'm going to go ahead and start that. I was going to use the blue deck, but I decided to use the vice versa deck, and I did um, cut it already. Like I always do with the vice versa deck, I always cut the deck. So I had cut it, I cut it to the Ten of Cups, which is awesome, okay? This is uh, happiness, right? It's happiness. It's like love is arriving. Happiness is arriving. And then the rainbow. I want to point out this rainbow because it's really, it's really pointing out to me. The rainbow is a, is a symbol of peace. It's a symbol of rebirth. It's, it's, um, it's a symbol of, it's like when you cross over, you're crossing over from one phase. I mean, it's like a, like, a, it's like the last thing you see before you enter into heaven, okay? So, uh, it's at the entering into heaven, for lack of better words. So, somebody is probably going to enter into a, or be united with somebody that they love, okay? This is a loving partnership. Okay, that is coming about. Okay, whether um, you're going to be reunited with this person or you're with this person right now. This is, I mean, if you think about heaven, you th and if you think about heaven, it's extreme happiness. So somebody is probably reuniting or they're uniting with or they're getting together with somebody that is going to make them feel like they are in heaven. But we are going to get one of these because, as I said, I'd use this deck. So we're just going to see what can we get from this deck. Just one card. Now, this is for all signs, but it may not be for you. I already did one reading, which will resonate with some but not all. And that's something you all need to realize, that not every reading is for you. Appreciation. Appreciation. Out of all those cards, one card flipped over. Woohoo! So, somebody. Now, this is an. Uh, this, this is rose. Roses are love. Somebody has found a new. A new found appreciation for love. I'm going to take this card. It's a coming together with somebody that is very caring. Uh, you're very co you'll be very comfortable with this person. It's like, you're my rock. You're my rock, whoever this person is. Oh, second card. Okay, second card we had in my last reading for the 10th. Okay. Goddamn five of swords, of course. I could, I mean, what, what more can I, I hate this card, but whatever. Tower moment. And the second card in my last reading was the tower, so that's pretty ironic, right? And in my last reading, somebody was waking up. So somebody is absolutely waking up. They're waking up to something that is going to... They're waking up to something that is going to shake them up. Put it that way. We have a shake up here. We have a rude awakening. We have a change that is happening. It's a blessing. And rainbows signify blessings. So there's some sort of break up or shake up or breakthrough that is happening to bring two people together and it's a blessing. So there's a blessing with every storm. I posted a quote the other day about that. Through the storm, there's always a blessing there is. And so there is some sort of 
uh, blessing in disguise here. I got a sneeze coming. I'm trying to push it down. Somebody's been trying to push something down too. They've been trying to avoid, you know, upheaval. They've been trying to avoid this wake up call. They've been trying to avoid this change. This tower comes in to, to make change happen. To bring two people together. So there's some sorted, some sorted, some sort of fated change, event, um, destruction that is happening to bring two people together that are meant to be. These people are meant to be. Somebody's been doing it on their own and, and, and waiting for help. Waiting for somebody to come in. Just waiting to show, just waiting to show what I have to offer. That day, I just shuffled. I gotta have to take it this time. God. There's been a lot of power struggles. There's been a lot of conflict. There's been a lot of uh, wanting to prove a point. And it looks like somebody has reached rock bottom. Somebody has reached rock bottom. And it looks like this, per this person knows what he has done. He knows. Somebody's turned their back on this person. I think this person that's on the ground has turned their back. And love is coming. Love is coming. Somebody has been watching another person. Somebody has been watching another person and they've watched this person's abundance grow. And this person whose abundance has been growing has been praying. Praying to the universe. Talking to the moon. Talking to the moon. And the moon is heard. The moon is heard. And somebody has been watching. And here we have the Knight of Cups. The Queen of Cups. The Magician. The Sun. And the Two of Swords. And now we have this. This is the Emperor turning his back. Thinking about how he's gonna take control of a situation. We have a, we have a male, a masculine, okay? This ain't no female, all right? We have a masculine that is thinking about how he is gonna take control, how he is going to take the lead, what his next step is. So we have this man that is, has been watching this queen grow. She's been praying. She's been praying. She's been hurt. This queen who has stood up, she's stood up. She's, she's no longer... She's no longer at rock bottom. Somebody brought this queen to rock bottom, but now she's she's stood up. She's she's manifested. She's worked hard. She's done a lot of work. She's found her self worth. She's been working her stuff. She's been working her shit out. She's been praying to the moon. She's been by herself. She's been on her own. She's been she's been working really really hard to pick herself back up from rock bottom. Somebody's been watching. They've been talking to the moon and she's been talking to the moon. And it looks like now these people are going to come together in a union. That's what's going to happen here. Two people are going to come together that have been praying for each other. 
This is the Knight of Cups. Ready. He's got his armor on. He's going. He's go coming to protect. He's coming to help. And he's coming with an offer. So we have somebody coming in with an offer of love. This person is, is really... opening their heart to you and it is something that you have manifested it's something that you have manifested somebody is has used their resources their inner resources to bring success and somebody is taking action as well somebody is taking action to bring happiness after trying to avoid it for some time. Somebody has found a new found appreciation for love. That's what this is. And we have we have a woman. This is a woman, okay? We have a woman here that is going to be appreciated. Somebody is coming in to help by the looks of things. And I think this person receives some sort of clarity okay somebody is receiving because the moon brings some sort of what can bring confusion or it can bring clarity maybe during the new moon or the full moon this person receives some sort of epiphany And somebody wants to go protect. Somebody is wanting to protect somebody that has been really, really hurt by another person. This person, somebody knows that this person has been hurt by another person. They've been watching. And it looks like they're about to take action to go offer this person some sort of support or some help. And it turns into love. It turns into love. So I think that we have somebody that is coming with an offer of love. And this person is, is coming to help after something falls apart. But there's some kind of breakdown in somebody's life that, you know, you have to call for help. Or this person thinks you need help or whatever. And all of a sudden they're, they're here. They're like, I'm here. I'm here for you. I'm here for you. So somebody is, is coming to help. And it's somebody that you've been praying for. It's somebody that you've manifested. Somebody is wanting to help you and protect you from this ever happening again. Interesting. It's been... uncertain you know there's been a lot of uncertainty here I think this person that has been watching has been uncertain if they could if they would be accepted if they had enough to offer if you were ready But it looks like this person is coming anyway. This person is ready to step outside of their shell because they really want to protect you from any more harm. It's like you've you've been through enough. Oh my goodness, somebody is coming coming. Somebody is 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 coming. Now this person that is coming in, this person that is coming in is a leader. He's a leader and he's a protector and he's a family family oriented person. He uh, He's trying to make the wisest decision. And he may even travel to you to help you. There may be some travel involved here. So, 
I feel as though there is some sort of Div this is divine guidance as well. There's some sort of divinely guided opportunity. And it's a wish. It's a wish. It is. Some We have somebody here that is taking, taking the power, taking the lead, taking action to finally go after what they want after being in a you know, being unsure, being unsure if they had enough to offer. And now they want to protect you. They they don't want you to be sad anymore. They don't want you to be on. They Somebody's coming to lift you up. Somebody is coming to lift you up. It's not this person that brought you down, by the way. Just so you know. For all of you guys out there, guys, girls, whoever it is. For all of you people out there that think it's this person, it's not. This person has left you there to pick yourself up. And you have, this is for those of you that have picked yourself up and have been praying, talking to the moon. Now that they, they, they've heard your prayers have been answered. I mean, somebody's coming. Somebody is coming with a, an offer, an, an emotional support. I'm coming. I'm here to support you. I'm here to hold your hand. I'm here. I'm here. What can I do for you? What can I do for you through this difficult time? So somebody's going through a difficult time and somebody's coming to help and it turns into, you know, love. That's what this is. So I if you have been if you have been independent and you have picked yourself up from rock bottom, there's probably going to be some sort of shake up in your life where, you know, something happens and you and somebody you know something crazy happens okay something crazy happens something that you didn't expect okay something that you didn't expect happens and then all of a sudden there's this arrival of help this this help that arrives leads to love and there's going to be appreciation this person is going to appreciate you this person is going to uh, love you So it looks to me like somebody has made a wish and they've manifested, they've been praying and the universe is bringing them together through some sort of unfortunate accident. Okay, there's going to be some sort of unfortunate event that brings these people together and you know, this, it's like I've been waiting. I've been waiting for some help. I've been waiting for this appreciation. I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting. And here it is. Here it is. So I believe that we have some sort of sudden arrival of emotional support from somebody that leads to love. And I think that it was blocked because this person had to pick themselves up before it could arrive. They had to set their intentions. So I see that if somebody has set their intentions around the new moon or the full moon or whatever, those intentions are now at the surface, okay? Because you can see, you can they're here. It's like what you set, what you manifested is arriving. It's a wish. It's a wish. Is that a shooting star? It's a wish. Your wish is my command. Your wish is being granted. So I see an offer of love, an offer of support, an offer of, you know, tender, loving care coming your way. From somebody that you probably didn't expect. This is not the person that brought you to your knees. It's somebody else. The person that brought you to your knees, their ego is so huge that they can't even see what they did. They don't even recognize it. You see this dove? There's the other dove. 
We got, okay, look at that. There's the, they're bringing you together. That just got chills. Remember, I was looking for that other dove. There should be two doves here. They're bringing you the your your perfect match. They're bringing you the, the your other lovebird. So the, the 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 love of the love of your life is is arriving. This had to break down. This had to happen so that you could come together. So it's not this person. It's not this person left you. To fend for yourself. And they're still not looking down. They still don't give a shit. But somebody does. So we have somebody coming to help you. Now that you have. Found your worth. Now that you understand, now that you have picked yourself back up, we have somebody arriving. This person is going to protect you from the doom and gloom that you have been through. They don't want you to go through that anymore. They don't want you to be by yourself. They see that you've been by yourself and they, they don't want you to be by yourself. So I think that somebody is arriving with... You know, it, it starts out, it looks like it starts out as an offer of emotional support and it turns into love. That's what it looks like to me. So I think that we have a, a uh, shake-up. Okay, we have a shake-up. That leads to love. Something is going to happen that brings this perfect match right into your life so i hope this reading is for you we're gonna get another card we're gonna get one of these i guess we'll get two Remember I said somebody's coming in to support you? They're coming to help you? Be supportive. Make a genuine effort to show you care. And that's what's going to happen. Somebody is coming in to show you that they care. And this is unexpected. This is unexpected. It is. I don't, it's not who you think it is. Just, just so you know. I know a lot of you think it's this person who treated you like shit. No, it's not. This person doesn't, isn't going to change. They would have done it by now. This person would have changed by now. They would have picked you up by now. Ooh. Spend some quality time together. It is imperative that we spend quality time with those we are in significant relationships with. Listening and talking to each other. And that's what's going to happen. You, you're gonna you're gonna get to know each other. You're gonna start out as friends, and you're gonna fall in love. As you get to know each other, you're gonna talk about your feelings. You're gonna talk about your hurt. You're gonna talk about who brought you down. You're gonna talk about the doom and gloom. You're gonna talk about what you've been praying for. You're gonna talk about life, and then it's just gonna be like you're you're it. So that's what I have. Good luck.